Natasha Romanoff can be seen on the ramp of a Quinjet hovering at low altitude as storm surge from the A-Day event floods the streets. From a secondary angle, we see Romanoff drop to the roof of a parked car. Inside the vehicle, multiple individuals can be seen trapped by the rising water. Romanoff breaks the windshield and reaches in, pulling the two occupants free. From another angle, cameras register a sudden rise in water levels, and Romanoff withdraws to the Quinjet with the survivors, leaving one individual inside the vehicle. As the Quinjet pulls out of view, the car is submerged. The footage ends with the destruction of all three cameras, remaining occupant of vehicle, presumed dead. While some are grateful for the temporary housing supplied by Stark Industries after A-Day, many have serious questions about their future. Melissa Gold, a 22-year-old student from Oakland, has serious concerns about the long-term plans for recovery. I'm glad I survived, I guess. But we're in a refugee camp and my childhood home is sealed away behind a wall. It's great that we have a tent stocked with Stark Industries branded survival gear and there's no denying they saved thousands of lives that day, acting just like heroes should. But didn't they put all those lives in danger in the first place? And not everyone was as lucky as me, so... Yeah, I'm grateful for my new, um, Stark mug. But where will I be in a year? In five? Will Oakland be around? Will I have a home? It's gonna be a long, hard road. Will the Avengers be with us then? Melissa says she doesn't know when she can go home. And right now, she's not holding out any hope. This article was contained in the memory buffer of Romanoff's personal phone when we acquired a partial copy. Unsent mail appears to show that Romanoff was considering contacting the journalist directly. A day plus 40 days. Natasha Romanoff entered the Alameda refugee camp at 0400 hours. Her stated intent was investigating a lead on behalf of S.H.I.E.L.D. Romanoff then exited the camp at 0900 hours. Subjects' whereabouts inside the camp are unknown from 0500 to 0800 due to an unexplained failure of security cameras inside. Romanoff was always the least invested of the Avengers, and it appears that even in the first months after A-Day, she was planning her departure. Our most reliable predictions show a strong probability that in her camp security breaches, which represented an enormous risk, Romanoff was searching for a way to profit from the chaos. Her contact with former black market associates that following week all but confirmed this prediction. While it might be attractive to offer a diagnosis of borderline personality disorder, that doesn't match the observed behavior. What we do see, without much doubt, is a person who has already begun to revert to earlier learned survival behaviors. Ms. Romanoff's time as an Avenger was brief compared to her time as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent or as a mercenary. Confronted with the disillusion of her social group, she will prioritize her own safety and freedom above all else she will not take any risk that would threaten her livelihood. I told you, we're wasting our time worrying about this one. Romanoff is underground looking out for herself. Someday we'll flip a rock and there she'll be. But she won't act alone. Move on. The refugee camps that were once a necessity can no longer be the solution. And with the help of AIM, we will rebuild the communities we lost said now program director, Melissa Gold. Hundreds of thousands were left permanently displaced after that tragic day, many of whom are still living in temporary emergency housing. But with a surprise donation of $2.4 billion from Advanced Idea Mechanics, things are finally looking up for the victims of A-Day. We will be meeting tomorrow to discuss the systemic failure that allowed an undercover operative to access sensitive financial data and divert billions to a charity right under your noses. This was deliberate and meant to embarrass us. Expect repercussions. A former Avenger infiltrated this organization and before being discovered, managed to breach our security as well as steal billions of dollars. A former Avenger we had written off. I will accept my own responsibility in this failing and so will you, whether you want to or not.